Praise the Lord, everyone. It's a privilege to be with you again for another M&M ministry moment. We're always delighted when we are invited into your home or to your automobile to share the precious word of the Lord. And we trust that this day you find yourself in the blessings and in the favor of God. I want to share something with you today that um, I've uh, preached about on a few occasions. And uh, this thought came to my mind this afternoon. So i I felt it was um, appropriate for this venue. Um, our favorite verse of Scripture in all the world is John three sixteen, reads, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That next verse is 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I've made a statement uh, a few times, and I'll I'll make it again uh, to you today, and that is that in God we find unconditional love. In the Lord we find unconditional love. But that unconditional love is not received by everybody because that unconditional love can only be received conditionally. Let me see if I can help you understand this uh, before you start throwing stones to to, uh, martyr me. There is a story in the book of Luke chapter 15 that uh, you are probably well uh, familiar with. And I want to read a few lines of it begin in verse number 11. It says this, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided them into him, his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey to a far country where he wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And you know the rest of the story, that prodigal son, as we call him, and Christendom uh, finally found himself filling his belly with the husk uh, that the swine ate. And uh, in that that, uh, scenario, in the hog waller uh, eating the swine feed, uh, the man came to his senses and uh, he began to Uh, contemplate the fact that his father's servants were living better than him. His father's servants had food on their table. They had clothing on their back. Uh, They had a roof over their head and their plight was better than his. So he deduced in his heart and his mind to return home, tell his dad he was was not worthy to be called a son any longer and ask that his dad allow him uh, to come and to serve in the household as a servant. You know the story. The son went back home. The dad saw him. A feast uh, was uh, made for a son that was once dead was alive again. I want you to notice here that in verse 12, of course, the Bible says that he took his inheritance. So many people take what God has given them, their health, their, their strength, their uh, soundness of mind, their finances, their, their, their things. Every good and perfect gift cometh down from God. So they take those things and they go into a world where they live riotously. And they spend their health. They spend their strength. They exhaust their money. They exhaust uh, their means. They destroy their marriages and so on and so forth and uh, find themselves in um, severe plight. When you stop and think about those individuals, they are not under the love of God because they have lost everything. They are not under the love of God because everything has uh, been uh, spent. Everything has been exhausted. But broken and broken, as the young man, the prodigal son, went to back to his dad, so do you and I oftentimes return back to the Lord, to our Heavenly Father. And the the son, when he arrived there in that prodigal son account, the dad was looking for him afar off. Verse 20 tells us 
uh, that the dad was in. He arose and came to his father, but when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, had compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. The son said, Dad, I'm not worthy to be called your son, but let me be a servant. And of course, the dad uh, called for the best robe to be put on him, a ring to be put on his uh, hand, shoes on his feet, the fatted calf to be killed, and a party to be set in order. When you look at that prodigal son, when he, before he left on his righteous living, he was living under the umbrella of his father's love, his father's provision. But when he chose to walk away and to take what his father had given him and waste them in a righteous life, he was not living under the love. He was not a recipient of the benefits of a loving father and, and all that it entails. He was living under his privilege. His father still loved him, but he was not a recipient of that love. That love was conditional that you have to be home under my umbrella of protection and care if you want to uh, enjoy and appreciate what I have to give. When the son returned back to his dad, once more, he was under the umbrella of, the loving, of a loving father, even as you and I can come back into the love of God if we, through repentance, will walk away from a rebellious lifestyle. So you see, a love is unconditionally expressed by God to all mankind, sinner and saint alike. But only those that are willing to believe in Him and put their faith in Him and surrender their life to His mandates, His precepts, His laws, only they will be recipients of what the loving Father has to offer and be recipients of His love. I want you to notice one thing. I've never noticed this before, but I'll close with this thought. The, the scripture says in that Luke uh, uh, 15, 11 account, the scripture says that famine came to the land. The father's house could not have been that far because his commute was not through automobile or airplane. It had to been on foot or on donkey. And if you've ever traveled on foot or on donkey, you know you're not going to go thousands of miles. So... When we look at that story, and the Bible says that there was famine, we know that that famine was most, most probably generalized and that it was also in the vicinity where his father's home was. But the father's home was not affected by the famine. The servants, the people in the father's home did not feel the plight of the famine. That's the way it is with you and I. When we walk in Him, when we embrace God's Word and His mandates, His directives for our lives, if there be famine in the world, it won't touch us. It will, it will not affect us because the Father's love, our Heavenly Father's love, will trumpet and we will be supplied. My God shall supply your every need according to his riches and glory. That's what living under the love of God is like. I would rather be under his love than to be without it. How about you? God bless you today. Delighted that you came to be with us. We're always uh, honored when you send us an email, a text, a, uh, a message of some nature. Share us with a friend. Look us up on our uh, YouTube page, our Facebook page, our website. And uh, look forward in the days to come. We're going to be having some podcasts as well. And all of this uh, because we love sharing the Word of God uh, with you. God bless you. You have a good day. And we look forward to being with you again soon. Bye-bye.